check out our tale of the tape. Tale of the tape sponsored by the United States Marine Corps. The few. Your name is They have to put a uh, blanket in the corners. And it took me a couple rounds to get warmed up. Well, see, you can see Ugas uses height and reach, I think. And uh, if he's smart like that, really hard punches early on. If he can take out Ugas, he would like to do that. Porter, effervescent personality, very confident, a turbulent fight. Tornado comes out, arms, elbows, everything. Now he's attacked. He's either in and he's out. He's in danger, he's not out of danger. So he's got a little bit of a problem. From it, an extended reach from the left did not connect. Ugas, a record of 8 0 following a 27 month hiatus. And Porter, his last fight in Carson here in California. It was the first loss of his, but that was back in 2014. <laughs> right hand was. Porter, he found it. And there is a, a great the And he's probably eaten five or six times since yesterday, so. Step back, stop at the bell. Round one. Who got a sport solid with the punches? Even though he just landed a couple good jabs in his stomach, uh, I, I think Porter landed a good counter when he finally got close enough. <laughs> Really waiting for Porter to come in so he can take advantage of that. Following our stats, our punch stats on those punches landed. Well, he's, really he's, been, he's been walking towards you know, Porter, so it looks like he was he's, he's above the average over 41% in this division. Spar, two, three rounds two years ago. Well, you talk about body shots, Uber threw a left hook to the world champion. And has only lost two. Porter's first defense of this WBC welterweight title in the BF welterweight since 2010. Ugas with a right, with a good, good counter by Ugas. Four, a lot on his mind, but right now it's Porter and the title. After. And that was a very close fight. I mean, that was a tremendous fight. Coming up as one after we're finished here. Like he's ready to see like that right there. Yeah. He's, he's, he's really doing some good yeah. movies. Yeah. Oh. Things. But there's that great liver shot by Ugas. I think he's, he's expecting Sean Porter to be. He's, 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 he's not expecting Sean Porter to be. Look at that. I think he's got uh, a little blood in this one. Okay. I just want to make sure. You can see that from the very start. But it looks like there's some blood on his lips. What he's doing right now is, is I think Porter's playing a, a double game here. I think he's. Being athletic on the outside. Physically, that might be more difficult. This is an interesting In this round, we're going to look at Ugas. Oh, Looked like we saw some blood on the inner lip of Ugas. Oh, and just trying to I can bull rush somebody, but he's showing his ability to box and use his jab. Oh, 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 is oh, oh, and he didn't have to prepare for this fight. Oh, After having a baby, and there's uh, certain things that your family wants you to do, but they don't understand that you need to be fought. Might have affected the weight discipline in our unofficial score ringside with us. This is a really tactical close fight. I have Sean ahead right now. It seems that he's being patient in there with us and waiting to land the counter shots. The problem with this round, and it's through that previous round, the power shots. The judges and Marcus Huntley, I don't think he's in favor of the color champions. Or the final, he's more active. Depending on the quality of the punches that are being thrown. And really, you know, being ringside, we see something like that. <laughs> That's what's provoking for Ogre by the shots he just landed on there. That's what's taking winning him the round if he's winning this round. <laughs> To that round for Ugas. Back live, round five. Ugas may have won back to back rounds. Let's check in. Anybody count? And then 
Pivot is start to slow down the camp order. And then have some body shots, but they weren't getting through. You know, uh, Sean Porter was blocking them. What you guys need to do is actually... Get on Joe, uh, you guys told us he takes a lot of pride at calling himself a response fighter. Expound on that. Somewhere on the, on the arm, and somewhat. You know, the fact of the matter is he's throwing yeah. this corner's body whether they're blocked or not. So they're doing it to follow the best of the way. The judges see that he's throwing those body shots. They're blocking the yes. 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 Arms, elbows, head, you know, body yeah. shots. Appreciate it. Yeah. Well, Ugas looks comfortable. I mean, he, he's, you know, described himself as a technician. I mean, he's said yeah. He's seen it for a Stay busy once he got busy. Listen, I don't mind it either. The only thing is he just needs to get a little bit closer. Right? And that's what he's doing. It would be better if he gets you this against the wrist and get it. Yeah, yeah, the bats too are standing. That misses the right. Great body shot by Lucas. Oh, yes. Yeah, the right in the ball. There's that response to some body shots as well. He needs to start it off at the body. He wants to mix it up. Yeah, he, wants yeah, he, to, he wants to mix it he's up. He's talking to Paul. Who's getting in his head? Porter looks like he agreed that his point after Ugas won the, at least by our view, the previous round. Ugas has landed more punches. What about the effective punches you have? right now, Ugas has really been concentrating on the punches. And the body shots numbers are... So that's the right hand they're looking for, even though... He's coming to the right hand, he threw it twice in that exchange, so... Rugas is leaving. Rugas is giving the corner. Right there, he's wearing only blue pants. Oh, look at that! He got the right hands. Rugas leaving a lot. A little ball on move, and he's getting right-handed while Rugas is climbing around. So it's not smart to do that. What is the right out of the confidence to allow him to move this move around? Exactly. He should concentrate. You don't. You never want to lose concentration. In his 32 professional fights. Shooking move from Porter that he told us he applies in the ring. The Porter's your chief for WBC. Being a dad and a trainer, but when you're both, I mean, that can sometimes complicate them. Yeah, I, well, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I think it has for the poor. And they were able to buy a hand. Yeah, and uh, the energy you've had time to assess our next little uh, hangover in his pro career. That was his last fight. Whereas Porter has gone 12 rounds in the final Garcia when he won the WBC. Danny Garcia against the World Weatherweight Tattoo. This, this is probably one of the tallest guys Porter's ever fought. And I think it's posing a little bit of problem for him. Just 26 percent for Porter. Oh, it's very close. 57 and 57. The scorecards could be all over the place uh, based on what the jury plays fight. Marco, stay with me. If you have the lean, even though, okay, it's not quite uh, He's been a little bit more technical. Uh, you might. I guess his job, and he's scoring with his job, too. Right, it's close. The champ, yeah, right? which way would you look? Well, he's better. Well, Sean Porter just got the his job. There's number four. That's so, because he's on right landed. He's, he's trying to change. Porter landed right there. <laughs> he's making it hard on him. So, and the, and the, and the, no, no, no. What are you saying he's doing? It it's it's slightly ahead. And more head shaking by Ugas. You see from him. <laughs> <laughs> A few rounds ago, he's known to do it. And, and so basically what you could be saying here is you could be looking at a possible title holder. Who they want next? Who has the pay-per-view fight next Saturday night against Control Your Punches? Here. He has the power. 